There you go. Your dimmer switch is done and working. Are there any instructions? Um, yeah. Press it when you want it dimmer. <laughs> Got it. Use any finger, right? Uh, I wouldn't suggest the thumb. <laughs> so I'll just leave you the bill and my band's demo. It's an eclectic mix of rock, jazz, and R&B, described by the Village Daily as promising. Oh, well, I'll listen to it when I get a chance. No, put it on now. I'll wait. And play it loud. It sounds better if you can feel it in your teeth. Oh, hi, baby. And this must be the man in your life you've been trying to keep away from me. Welcome to the family. <laughs> So, Nick, do you like chicken and beef? Oh, but before we talk about food and how we're gonna spend the holidays, why don't I take a picture of two of you kissing so I can send it to your grandmother? Sure, anything for grandma. Ma, this isn't Nick. What? You said he was cute and white. What else was I to assume? He is cute and he is white. <laughs> He's the electrician. I'll still kiss her if she'll listen to my demo. Hell, I'll kiss you too. <laughs> Hey, Dee Dee. What's with all the food? My friend Aurora's coming for a visit. Is she coming forever? <laughs> no, she's just a big girl, but she's really sweet and has a big heart. Actually, she kind of has a big everything. <laughs> Hopefully, this will all tide her over till dinner. You know, I don't remember you mentioning her. But then again, sometimes when you're talking, I'm not really listening. <laughs> anyway, Aurora and I were inseparable growing up. She was the only other girl of color who went to my private school, which I was fine with because it made me the hot black chick. <laughs> anyway, I haven't seen her in a while, and I want to make sure she feels really welcome. So come on, help me move the couch back. We need wider lanes. <laughs> Help you? Hi, Dee Dee, it's me, Aurora. If that's your idea of a big girl, I'm never eating again. <laughs> Aurora, where's the rest of you? Oh, where are my manners? Come on in, but damn, where's the rest of you? <laughs> Gone forever, thanks to gastric bypass surgery. Lost 125 pounds in four months. Oh, well, you look amazing. I mean, you always looked amazing. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I look like Shamu in a moo, moo but <laughs> you are as sweet as ever for saying so. Hi, I'm Dee Dee's sister Mona. Hey, <laughs> what's all the food for? Uh, it's Mona's. She eats a lot. <laughs> there. Your birthday week has officially started. Your sad little area has gone from gloomy ghetto to party fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, George. Thanks, Matt. You really know how to make my turning 30 special. Considering you've done it three times, we've had a lot of practice. <laughs> oh, look, it's our fixer-upper. How quickly they forget. And those eyebrows. What was two is now one. Back off. The ladies are loving me. Okay, ew. Please, I just ate. And you never called me. Any messages? You've had calls from 14 different women this morning. This one's from Sheila. Apparently you rocked her world. Also broke a head boy. Mm. Again, the hetero visual. I've got better things to do than to talk about your Camille Reboundathon, like plan my Las Vegas birthday bash this weekend. You only turned 28 once. <laughs> do you even know how old you are? Ignoring la la la, la 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 la. Now my posse's coming, and Mona and Dee Dee, and I assume you are too. Lord knows there's not a throat left in the Bay Area for you to jam your tongue down. Good point. Viva Las Vegas. Count me in. Delicious records. Listen, girlfriend, like I told the rest of Spencer's harem, the man is not worth your time, so... Oh, hold, please. Spencer, your mother's on line one. 
Nick, you are so sweet to drive me to work and buy me coffee and walk me to my office. It's just my way of getting more time with you. And I love it. It's like having a personal assistant you get to make out with. Wait till you see the special plans I have for us this weekend. Well, if they include doing my laundry and cleaning the bathroom, I'm yours forever. Trust me, when I put my Lysol into your sink, you'll know it's serious. <laughs> Nick looks so cute walking away. <laughs> he does have tight biscuits. Wow, cool sweater. Great color. You can't borrow it. It's ugly anyway. <laughs> hey, Nick told me he has special plans to take care of me this weekend, and it's been a while since I had a boyfriend, so I want to confirm what that means. It means make sure everything is waxed and don't wear your granny panties. <laughs> Yay, I was hoping that's what it meant. A whole weekend of romance and pampering. Isn't it great having a boyfriend? Not everyone in the room has one, Mona. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. So, where's Aurora? She's changing in the other room, but I gotta tell you, I'm a little worried about her. Today we went shopping and guys were staring at her in a way she's not used to being stared at. Oh, did she have one of those paper toilet seat covers tucked in the back of her skirt? Because that has happened to me a million times. I mean, they were staring at her body, and she's just not used to it. A salesman told her she looked beautiful in a dress, so she bought one in every color. She just gets sucked in by anyone who compliments how good she looks. All right, where's your fat friend? Mother! Sorry, that was insensitive, but I'm feeling huge today, and I need to see someone bigger than me. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Aurora was bigger than me in the fifth grade. <laughs> Not anymore. Aurora, what have you done to yourself? Beverly Hills Diet. Atkins? Scarsdale? <gasps> Strictly bacon. <laughs> Gastric bypass. Ooh, I haven't tried that one. <laughs> but it agrees with you, dear. Thank you. <laughs> Turtle Dove, any chance your mom's stopping by? Well, oh, I could use a pick-me-up. And I'm sure the sight of Phyllis in a Lycra Poly blend would do the trick. <laughs> Mona, who would you rather see for my big 27th birthday bash? The real Celine at Caesars or the drag Celine at Boylesque? And I don't want to influence you, but the drag Celine has a better ass. About that, I can't go. Nick made special plans for this weekend. Mona, you can see Nick anytime you wait. Special plans? <laughs> that means you're going to get your corn shocked. <laughs> Okay, you're excused. I feel bad. I'm gonna miss your party. Please, my whole posse's already canceled on me. They had a better offer. Prime seats at the final, final, final Share Farewell concert. <laughs> I've already been to the final and the final, final. At this point, it's just sad. <laughs> you really can't turn back time. <laughs> hey, any messages for me? Here's today's desperate dames. I've categorized them into degrees of crazy. Girl interrupted, fatal attraction, Mary Poppins. I'm sorry, the woman pulls a coat rack out of a carpet bag. She scares the crap out of me. Spencer, what's the name of the last woman you hooked up with? Uh, baby? No wonder the condom machine in the bathroom has been out all week. Don't you think you should give it a rest? This could bite you in the butt. One of them did. I think her name was Baby, too. Listen, I appreciate your concern, but it's a man's way of healing. And I've got a lot of healing to do. Dee Dee, someone I can always count on. How's my sweet, beautiful friend? I can't go to Vegas, Adam. I never liked you. <laughs> this is a very exciting day for me. I get to see behind the scenes at a record company, and my thighs haven't rubbed together once. <laughs> Ooh, donuts. I'm going to go smell them. Just so you know, the decaf is terrible, but the full strength is horrible. <laughs> Good to know. I'll stick with the tea. Classy. I'm Spencer. You must be new, because if we met, I remember. Oh, um, I'm, I'm Aurora, and I'm just visiting. Can I get some sugar? <laughs> I don't usually kiss in the first five minutes. So, I stopped by Victoria's Secret and picked up something special for Saturday night. It's lace, it's peekaboo, and I'm not sure how the hell to get it on, but I hope Nick can get it off. <laughs> Mona, go over there and stop that. Spencer's talking to Aurora. And I'm talking about me having sex. That is way more interesting. I'm serious. We've got to keep him away from her. She is a fragile fawn, and he is a wolf in FUBU. Aurora, okay, 
gotta go. Late for lunch. Come on, Mona. That's cool. I got lunch plans of my own. Spencer, you have four calls on hold. What do you want me to do? Hmm. Give me a Red Bull and line one. Baby. <laughs> I assume you're Nick. I'm the supportive but not intrusive mother that Mona gets her good looks from. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just going to put these things in the kitchen. Nice meeting you, Mrs. Thorne. Don't move. I'll get rid of the old lady. Ma, you told me you would stop dropping by once I got a man. In case you haven't noticed, I got a man. I know you got a man, but I'm here to help you keep your man. Now you get the kissing, I'll get the cooking. This is a romantic evening for two, and you are not one of them, so off you go. <laughs> Bye, Nick. Ooh, he is even cuter than I imagined. <gasps> go, Mona! <laughs> I'm buying you a lock for that door. <laughs> Don't bother, they always find a way in. <sighs> so. Do you have any idea where Aurora is? I don't even know who Aurora is, but I'm sure if you give her five seconds, she'll be coming through that door. I haven't seen Aurora for hours. She should have been back from shopping by now. I'm worried about her. Oh my God, what if she's with Spencer? Spencer's got a million women. Now go home. Look, I'm sure she's fine. Trust me, he's not with Aurora. Now get out. <laughs> I don't know. The last thing I remember, we were doing belly button tequila shots at Viva Las Drinko. <laughs> Morning, lovers. <laughs> Where are we, man? In Las Vegas for my 26th birthday. <laughs> Which is now even more special since you kids got married last night. <laughs> Congratulations. What do you mean we're married? Yeah, man. Is this some kind of twisted gay speak? Because <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, you OK? No. My head hurts. My tongue feels like it needs a shave. <laughs> well, you didn't put away a lot of champagne after the ceremony. And before. And during. <laughs> Which is why I picked out those crappy rings. And best of all, I caught the bouquet. <laughs> How about I make us some chocolate chip pancakes? Ooh, I am the luckiest girl in the world right now. <laughs> okay, that didn't last long. Don't you people have phones? Yeah, I am busy having my morning after. I have earned my morning after. You are interrupting my morning after, where Nick and I get to enjoy each other's company while eating chocolate chip pancakes. If that's your idea of a morning after, you're lucky I'm interrupting. <laughs> What is going on with you? It's like you have no life. It's like you're me before him. Aurora's been missing all night. I've been trying her on her cell phone and she's not picking up. Ah, so you do have phones. Hello? Hello? You're where? where? Did, Did what? Spencer and Aurora got, got married last, last night. night. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's bad. Mona, you gotta help me. My mother finds out she'll kill me. Me? What am I going to do? Girl, I'm fiending for a milkshake. Don't worry. I'm on my way. Get packing, Missy. We're going to Vegas to fix this mess. But I don't want to go to Vegas or anywhere that requires putting on pants. <laughs> Besides, there's nothing we can do. Hey, there is always something a thorn woman can do. Now, are you a thorn or not? I've never walked out on pancakes before. Now I'm walking out on pancakes and you. I'm sure I'll regret it. Hey, I understand. My friends do stupid things too sometimes. Well, maybe not this stupid. <laughs> I understand. Here you did it! <laughs> now let's get moving. We've got a plane to catch and a marriage to break up. To the Thormobile! <laughs> She's so irritating when she's on a mission. Hey, 
Newlyweds get free champagne. Drinking got us into this mess. Wow. Being nagged by the wife already. Okay, everybody, help is here. We'll get this all straightened out. Now, tell us what happened. We were pretty bored celebrating Adam's birthday. Then I think we ditched him, and then I guess we drank too much, and <laughs> then then. <laughs> yeah, what she said. <laughs> Okay, so where is Adam now? Ah, the last time I saw him, he was raiding a maid car for a free loofah. As your legal counsel, I advise you to sever all contact with your husband. I need a moment alone with my client, and since the wife gets the house, get out. Come on, let's go, let's go. On the lay, on the lay, Spencer. Ah, dial it down. I've already got one ball and chain. While I was at school, you were just going shopping for new clothes. I was. Then Spencer called me and we met for drinks. He asked if I wanted to party in Vegas, and I figured, since I had the clothes for it, why not? I didn't know I'd be wearing my new world jeans to my wedding. But they look so cute on you. Girl, thank you. <laughs> but how did you end up getting married to him? I know I should have called, but a guy's never swept me off my feet before. Well, one guy tried, but he ended up in traction for a week. So, when Spencer paid so much attention to me, I liked it. Aurora, you have no idea how beautiful you are. You're gonna have to shake this negative self-image. Lots of guys are gonna wanna fly you away for the weekend. You can't marry every one of them. That's just straight J-Lo. So what am I gonna do about Aurora? It is Aurora, right? You're asking me? Isn't that the woman you promised to love, honor, and at least remember her name? I don't know what's going on with me. I've been dealing with some heavy stuff. And it's not just because of Camille leaving. It's a lot of things. I'm just feeling really alone. You have me. Come on, Mona. You got a man in your life. I don't want to bother you with my problems. But that's what I'm here for. I know you're always here for me. Helping me get over Camille. Help me look for my dad. You're a good friend, Mona. Hey, I don't jump on a plane with no change of underwear for just anybody. Hey, you guys came after all. This is great. And you're just in time. The $1.99 prime rib buffet closes in 20 minutes. My treat. I hit it big. I got three major Heelys on the I Dream of Genie slot machine. I think we better handle this divorce first. <sighs> you can get divorced anytime. Let's take a gondola ride at the Venetian. No, 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 no. We have to figure this out, no matter how long it takes. Sure, absolutely. But first, let's all go to the Luxor and ride the Nile. Adam, this is no time for fun. We're talking about marriage here. <sighs> okay, fine. Nobody's married. I made the whole thing up. What? Well, I just made you think you were hitched to get everybody here for my 25th birthday. <laughs> now, let's go eat all the meat we can eat. Hold it, Miss Thing. I cannot believe you did that. Thank God. We're not married. I, I, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, Spencer, but thank God. That is the saddest, most desperate thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I know. It was so much fun. They drank till dawn and passed out in bed together. If I hadn't taken advantage of that, I'd be ashamed of myself. <laughs> hey, I'm here. I'm queer. I love to interfere. <laughs> you know, kicking your ass wasn't like fighting a girl. I'd take... Okay. I'm sorry. I went too far. I just didn't want to spend my birthday alone. Is that so wrong? All of you are like my family. And if I can't share my birthday with my family, who can I share it with? Oh, Adam, we understand. Even though your little prank ripped me away from my man. <laughs> Guess who's here to surprise the birthday boy? Ah! Thank God these losers were sucking the life out of me. Wait, what happened to the share concert? The lights went down. The music started, and our dark lady began singing Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves. And we realized something was missing. And it wasn't just her ribs. <laughs> we had our gypsy and our thief, but we didn't have our tramp. Aww. I can't believe I flew coach for this. Let's go to Cirque du Soleil. Hot Canadian men in tights. Ah! <laughs> Later, straighters. This is going to be my best 23rd birthday ever. <laughs> you know, listening to those hens is like watching Steel Magnolias. You just don't get it. Can you believe Adam just tossed us aside after all that talk about us being family? Well, the two of us can have our own fun. We can go see the dancing waters at the Bellagio. Ooh, or ride the roller coaster at New York, New York. Room service. 
I'll get it right away. Guess who scored a cheap ticket and flew to Vegas to be with this lady? I guess that's pretty obvious, isn't it? Nick, I can't believe you came. Dee Dee, I can't believe you haven't left. But Mom, I'm going to go to the Bellagio. Beat it, kid. 